up beautiful people my light in right now guys it's crazy but it's your girl Kamai McWilliams I'm a portrait photographer located in southwest Georgia and I wanted to come to you all and share five rules that you must know when photographing out of a small space and at the end of this video I'll also be sharing with you five hacks that you can take advantage of in your small studio space so let's get right into it so first off, I wanted to share with you all the type of space that I photograph out of. Currently, I photograph out of a 200 square foot shed with seven foot ceilings. So the rules of the game, I done had to, you know, make some things work in my space, but I come out with amazing results with my photography. And if you all aren't familiar with my photography, I definitely encourage you to go to my Instagram, Kamaya Portraits on Instagram, Facebook, and check it out. And you'll be surprised also at the amazing things that I can make happen within my space all because I take advantage and I keep in my mind these five rules guys so let me stop running my mouth and let me go ahead and drop tea let me let me go ahead and share some tea so rule number one is buy what you need and not what you want it's so easy for us to get caught up in what other photographers are using and all that good stuff and then when we go in and buy it and purchase it especially when we're photographing in smaller spaces you realize that um you either don't have room for it or you really don't even need it so definitely purchase what you need listen what you need and not what you want rule number two is to be organized and have everything in place so with my spaces, um, I mean, not my spaces, but with my space, I definitely had to learn how to be organized and I also had to learn how to um, minimize. So I got rid of a lot of equipment and I also don't have many props and all that good stuff. I only keep what I actually, actually need. And people think you need props and all that crazy stuff um, to create amazing portraits in studio photography, but you definitely don't. Stay organized because I shoot out of a shed. And I was buying all of this stuff for my little behind space. And every time I would come in or I have clients in, it's so cluttered and I can barely move around. I can, you know, it's just everything everywhere. It's too, it's too much stuff going on. So I got rid of some stuff and I also started organizing my space and thinking about small spaces where I can hide, you know, different things. So I'm also gonna be sharing five hacks at the end of this video, like I said, and showing you guys how I organize in my small space. Rule number three is baby, don't be afraid of having low, low ceilings. Look, it can be a little bit intimidating because we're like, okay, I can't get a large behind parabolic seven foot, um, but it is soft box because my ceiling is only five feet or my ceiling is only, what seven feet it's okay don't let having a smaller ceiling intimidate you and think you don't have to purchase certain stuff and you can't make certain things work within your space and within your area the thing that i can't do is use my um my broom on my light stands on my c stands so i mean that's pretty much it but baby we don't gotta make that you can you can make the best out of your space with low ceilings um you can definitely try different lighting techniques with having low ceilings so don't let the third rule is do not let having low ceilings intimidate you intimidate you okay rule number four is your position in your small space is everything um from where your lights are positioned from where you are positioned from where your backdrop is positioned everything is very important when you talk about small spaces so the reason why i say position is everything because when you're shooting out of a very small space where your light is where you are where your client is where everything is is so important um and when you're in a small space especially when you talk about lighting if you have a big light or a no if you have a light with no soft box or nothing that light is going to bounce off of these walls because it's so tight together versus being in a huge space and you're able to position your light anywhere that you want it and you do not have to worry about it touching the ceiling or being too close to the ceiling to touch or being too close to the wall to touch so i have to watch where i position my light in my small space i also have to watch where i have certain furniture set at too because it can hinder you know the amount of space i do have the first setup that I had my studio in, um, I ran into a lot of issues because I was photographing with a crop sensor. Um, and finally, when I switched to a full frame, I was able to get, you know, that full length. 
but when you're shooting with a crop sensor there is a difference um so you have to keep in mind where you have things positioned especially your backdrop your subject and your lighting especially your lights because like i said when you photograph it in a small space that light can bounce off, off of so many walls and so many things because it's so tight and it's so little and small it does not take much for the light to bounce off of something else so keep that in mind and with my fifth rule y'all be confident in whatever space you photograph out of because this can speak through your work um i strongly believe the level of confidence that you have in the space that you're photographing in the equipment all of it is going to show through your work um just like they say in order to get you know photography sales you got to be confident people purchase people buy based off of confidence it's the same with photography your confidence is going to be expressed through your work so be confident in any spaces you're being put in on um, whether it's a large space or if it's a small space make the best of it because i'm telling you it can ultimately affect your work and a lot of people did not know that i photograph out of a she shed um when they look at my you know work online a lot of them really thought i was shooting out of a large commercial property but the truth is i shoot out of a, a shed honey in my backyard and you won't even know it because the level of confidence that i have i love my space i'm very confident in my space because it pushes me and it challenges me to um make the best of my situation so i know if i'm able to photograph in this small 200 square foot space if god decided to bless me with something larger i'm gonna be I'll be killing so it's all about confidence y'all confidence in your space your skills and talent all that good stuff so let me go ahead and share these five hacks that i put together in my small space guys so this is hack number one i simply have a black curtain and i have it mushed into my walls hanging now this particular hack um i use this for i use this as a black b flat um because i don't have white walls on this side i create very contrast um photographs so being that a b flat is a little bit too big for my ceilings and it's a little bit too big for my space all i do is take a black curtain and mount it up on the wall temporarily my my second hack are bicycle hooks. Um, I get those from Walmart and excuse that right there, that's a hot mess. Um, but this is how I mount my backdrops on my wall by using bi uh, bicycle hooks. That's my second hack that I would suggest. Um, especially if you can already, you know, see where to position them. Um, now when you talk about drywall, I would definitely try to get a um the tool that can detect studs because you want this to be sturdy. You don't want it to fall on a model or a client. So that would be my second hack. My third hack would have adding a shelf. I got a mess. My kids is in here playing y'all. Hot mess. But my third hack would definitely be adding a shelf where you can buy cheap containers. And this is messed up and old, but you can buy cheap pull-out containers to store certain stuff. So I have my tapes in here, adhes adhesive spray, uh, some of my C-stand stuff. And then I also, in here I have my fabric um, backdrops that I do steam, you know, before sessions and all that good stuff. So I have my folded backdrops in this one and I'm able to store it here. I'm also able to store my folio boxes for when clients come and visit. So definitely invest. Oh, and I also have my little mini fridge for my clients also. So make sure to get a little ways to store different stuff that you need, whether it's a shelf or containers. My fourth, oh, my fourth hack would definitely be take advantage of um, if you have couches, if you have different shelves that probably have space underneath it, anything with space underneath it you can always tuck and hide stuff away. So under here, you won't be able to see it, but I have my ladder under here. I keep my ladder, my extra backdrop stand inside of a bag underneath this couch. Um, and that's mainly my hidden spot is underneath the couch. So anything that you have 
you're able to slot something under, take advantage of that because that's extra space that you can be saving. This is my last hack that I've recently caught on to. And I got this hack actually from um, Miss NJ Stevenson. She is an amazing mentor and black female photographer. And she shared this within her Facebook um, group. It's basically like a $23 shopping cart. And this is where I store my backdrops. And I also have some of my umbrella stored in here also. So this is hack number five. And just a quick hack number six. If you do not like um, having a curtain, you know, taped or hammer into your wall you can always make yourself a diy v flat and so this is my other little hat that i take advantage of in my small space covering up that window to i don't want any you know artificial light coming in i have a black side with black black poster board and a white side with white poster boards and i made this myself and it just sits over here in the corner to add contrast on this side and to add contrast on that side